Hi YouTube, I'm back again with a little video on a wood stove. This is kind of a bit of a response to a uh, comment that I made on somebody else with a wood stove. I bought this a few years ago. I uh, bought the stove at Northern Tooling Equipment for like $550-ish dollars. And uh, what we did is this house came with a fireplace right there you can see the line going from left to right that's where the fireplace was built in at and we just attached to the existing uh, flue um, we're using this presently to heat our entire house it's less than 30 degrees outside today it gets down into the teens overnight and uh, the stove is cranking at uh, cranking really well right now. Um, we use it to heat the entire house, 2,000 square feet, and currently it is about 74 degrees in here. The bedroom doors are closed during the day. We build up the heat and then we open the doors at night. Um, uh, the bottom is uh, recovered brick laying on tarp with sand put in the cracks of it and surrounded by a wood that's been painted. I see I need to paint it again next season. Um, we just bought the little fan there on the left side of it and the thermometer um, we made that purchase because the upper thermometer was way off and was showing overheat when it wasn't overheating so um, we're like well if we're gonna buy another thermometer we'll get uh, the fan and thermometer and thermometer loans 12 bucks the fan and thermometer together were like 50 from Amazon um, what I wanted to really focus on, well, let's back up here. This right here is the fan switch for the back of the wood stove. I relocated from the back using that high temperature cord down there and mounted it there so that we're not at risk burning ourselves. Now, um, the reason for the video is I wanted to show this uh, metal backing here with the uh, cast iron on it. This is corrugated roof and it's on uh, two by four studs. Let's see. Here's one of the studs right here. It's down. Right there. And uh, so it is painted black and the areas where the stove is closest to the wall the metal is actually doubled up that's where it's uh it's um I layered it one on each other to to uh take away some of the length here at either end and uh, also that it acts as a better heat shield between the drywall behind it. Um, and we hung my wife's cast iron uh, collection from it. And the reason being is the cast iron could collect the heat and let it out later. Um, behind this wall here is our closet and before we had the shield on it I could go into the closet and put my hand on the wall interior wall and feel the heat coming through the wall from the stove so this just makes it uh, safer and reflects the heat um, you leave it up off the floor some so that air passes behind it 
helps to circulate the heat and keeps it keeps the heat on the drywall behind it down so that's the uh, wood stove it has served us very well and uh, we're very pleased with it and blessed to have it now that the uh, primary air conditioner is out of service until the spring so thanks for watching and uh, feel free to comment I answer any reasonable comment and uh, mash that uh, like button or subscribe thank you